Today, I'll show you how to do your big one crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today, we're specifically talking about the big one wallet and how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So the breakdown of this video is as always, I'll tell you a little bit about the exchange itself. Then I'll jump into the integration, which is all, almost always straightforward. And then I'll jump into how to get the necessary tax documentation. And then lastly, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, I'll leave some resources down below where you can leave those. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So this exchange is based out of the Netherlands and was founded in 2017. Currently, it is a top 50 exchange by trading volume with an average of 730 million in the last 24 hours, which is quite insane if you really think about it. They offer a variety of features for beginner friendly, you know, spot trading to more complex operations like liquidity mining, leverage ETFs and perpetual futures. But um, that's enough about the exchange. Let's jump into the integration part of this video. Alrighty, so first things first, you're gonna log into your Coinly account, head over to the wallet section, and then you're gonna click on add wallet. And here we're gonna type in big one. And there, there you go, it's gonna pop up. So we have two different options. I'm gonna show you the API first. And I'm gonna recommend that one because it's the easiest. The you know CSV route is a little bit trickier because a lot of transactions you'll have to do it, uh, manually. So I strongly recommend the API, but I'll also show you if you do wanna go down the CSV route. So let's click on set up auto sync and we need the API key and the API secret. Okay, so we're on the uh, big one exchange. In the top right corner, there's a little bit of a profile icon here. We're gonna hover over it and then click on settings. And then from here, we're looking for API keys. So you can perform automated actions with API keys. We're gonna click this little arrow. And then here, we're gonna click on add. And then we're gonna give it a label, something like, let's say, Coinly. And now we're only interested in giving Coinly the permissions it needs to be able to read the data. We're not interested in moving it or touching it. So um, we're gonna look for history here. So permission to get deposit history, uh, permission to get withdrawal history, permission to get account balance information, permission to get order information. Whoops, we don't want the permission to create orders. Um, permission to get trade info, yes. And that is pretty much it. Oh, permission to get futures, yes. So we want all that information. Uh, and then we're gonna click on next. And then we're gonna need a um, you know pin that you assigned to, to your account and the SMS you're gonna get. Okay, so this gives us the API key. So we're gonna take that and paste it here. And then we have the API secret, which we're also gonna copy that and paste it here. And then we're gonna click secure import. And this is by far the easiest route to get all your big one information into Coinly. Now I'll show you how to do it via the CSV file. Okay, in order to do your CSV stuff, this is gonna be a bit of a, you know, a, a trickier process, but I'll show you anyway. So add your wallets. We're gonna find a big one again. And we're gonna click this time on import from file. And then we're gonna go back on the exchange. And here, if we go to orders and from the drop down menu, we select spot and margin order. We're gonna go to trade history. And then you're gonna select an appropriate time range for you. So depending on how long you've had a big one account, uh, if you've had it for several years, keep in mind that you'll need to import your entire transaction history from all those years. So this might actually be a couple different files, um, but yeah, make sure to get all your data in there. So once you select a time frame, I'm just gonna put, I don't know, one month, uh, you're gonna click export and then it's gonna be sent to your email. And once you get that file, you're gonna take it, drag and drop it into Coinly and then click import and you're gonna have all your trade history imported. Now, here's where it gets a little bit messy because there is no way to get your you know, withdrawals and deposits. So you'll have to do that manually. And I've made a few different videos on how to create manual transactions or you know, create a, your own CSV files. So just keep in mind that can be a tedious process if you, go, if you do go down this route. Uh, and then once you have created a file with your withdrawals and deposits, same thing as we did here, we would uh, drag and drop it here and click import. But there you have it. You've added your transaction history into Coinly. You can obviously review it and verify it and make sure that everything is sitting right with you. And then when you're ready, you're gonna click on tax reports area. And here you're gonna get a fantastic summary of your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses, your gifts and donations, anything else you wanna look at. And just use this area throughout the year to kind of see where your crypto activity is going to end up. And once you're satisfied with all that information and you're ready to get your tax uh, information, your tax document, you're gonna select this area here, pick a report, and then find a report that is appropriate for your needs. And as you see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different um, reports. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax, both online and desktop versions. And I've made videos on other third-party softwares. 
We have reports for the UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. Uh, for Canada, Germany, and other countries, we have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can give directly to an accountant and then you combine it with your other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their uh, accountancy firm here with us. And then lastly, what I tell everyone is make sure to check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the end of another wallet integration video. I'm going to leave some resources down below if you need further assistance. So starting off with the Coinly Help Center, where we have countless different articles on crypto tax related things. We have a feedback section where you can, you know, tell us if you ever, ever, ever have any issues with our software. We have a forum section where we talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd be, uh, you know, we'd love to help you out. So if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.